Today we are going to play the Gardener's Friend game. Now, a mantis and a ladybug are both friends to a gardener. Both of these animals eat a lot of other bugs, and a ladybug can eat up to 50 bugs in a day, and a mantis can eat up to 20 bugs in a day. So we're going to play a game today that kind of has them battle it out. Here's how we play. We're going to spin a spinner and we're going to fill out a record sheet. And the spinner looks like this one right here. We've used this spinner before. And you can see this spinner is not quite even. It's much more likely to land on the mantis than the ladybug. But remember, the ladybug eats 50 bugs a day. So the ladybug gets 50 points every time it lands on the ladybug side. And the mantis only gets 20 points. So when you play this game, you're going to want to open up the record sheet, make a copy of it, and I like to uh, arrange it so that I can have the spinner on one side of my screen and the record sheet on the other side of my screen. Uh, you can also just switch back and forth between tabs every time, and that's okay too. But I'm going to set up my screen so that I have one on one side and one on the other. Okay, so now I have this nice and neatly uh, arranged. So I have the spinner on one side and my record sheet on the other side. We're just going to start playing this game here. Uh, I'm going to spin the spinner and this first one lands on the ladybug it looks like. And so because it lands on the ladybug, I get to color in 50 squares for the ladybug. Now take a look at this sheet. There's uh, 10 across and 10 down, so that's 100 right here. And so it's the first bug to reach 300 that wins. So since it landed on the ladybug, we are going to fill in 50 of these squares. So I select all of those squares and I hit the paint bucket up here and I'm gonna color all those in red. And then it's next bug's turn. All right, so for this bin, it looks like the mantis one so we're going to highlight those squares and color them green for the mantis and spin again. And I wanna know which bug is going to win first. Oh, it looks like the mantis won here again. So I'm going to color in his squares. All right, so 20 every time for the mantis and 50 for the ladybugs. Now see, I've hit the mantis three times in a row, and that kind of makes sense because there's three times as much space for the mantis here as there is for the ladybug. But of course, the ladybug gets 50 every time. And I'm just going to play to 100 for right now. You will play until you get to 300. Oh, the mantis again. Now, we've come to a point here where if I'm playing to 100, I only need one more spin for the mantis to win and one more spin for the ladybug to win. So let's see who's going to win the first two 100 here. And it looks like it landed on the ladybug, so I'm going to color in the rest of the ladybug squares here, color them in red. And so since I played only to 100 this time, you're gonna to play to 300, but since I played to 100, I do have a winner here. So the next thing you're going to do is come down to this Google form and you're going to say who won. Well, I see that the ladybug won this time. And how much did they win by? Well, they won by 20 points. I have 10 in this row and 10 in this row. So that is 20 total. And then if I scroll down even more, I can see who has won more games overall. And every time you refresh this page, that graph is going to change a little. You can see this time it's updated with my score this time. So three times that I've played, it's been the ladybug who won, and one time uh, has the mantis won. After that, you're going to hit start, and there's a couple questions that have to do with this assignment. So this first question is how many times do you have to land on the ladybug to fill in your record sheet? So how many times does the, do you have to land on the ladybug to fill in all 300 blocks? You have the same question for the mantis there, and then, is this game fair? Is it fair for the ladybug and fair for the mantis? Well, that's up for you to decide. 